the Lotus Eaters. Upon the tenth day, we came to the coastline of the Lotus Eaters, who live upon that flower. We landed there to take on water. All ship's companies mustered or gathered alongside for the midday meal. Then I sent out two picked men and a runner to learn what race of men that land sustained. They fell in, soon enough, with lotus eaters, who showed no will to do us harm, only offering the sweet lotus to our friends. But those who ate this honeyed plant, the lotus, never cared to report nor to return. They longed to stay forever, browsing on that native bloom, forgetful of their homeland. So basically, once they ate the lotus, it gave them this peace, and they didn't want to do anything. They didn't want to go back home, they didn't want to work, they just wanted to sit and eat lotus all day. I drove them, all three whaling, to the ships, tied them down under their rowing benches, and called the rest. All hands aboard, come, clear the beach, and no one taste the lotus, or you lose your hope of home. Filing into their places by the rowlocks, my oarsmen dipped their oars in the surf, and we moved out again on our seafaring.